New at 11, things got heated at a meeting of concerned parents tonight after high levels of lead turned up in drinking fountains at Enfield Elementary School. Some of the school's fountains had higher than normal amounts of lead over the summer, one 40 times over the acceptable level. Let's get the facts first on CBS 5 News at 11. Enfield Elementary is about 15 minutes west of downtown, downtown Ithaca. Over the summer, three of five water fountains tested positive for high levels of lead. But as of last month, those levels are now back in the normal range. Lead can build up in the body over many years, and for people who have had substantial exposure, it can cause brain damage and red blood cells and kidney failure. The greatest risk is to children under the age of six and to women who are pregnant. Some of the symptoms of lead poisoning in children include a loss of appetite, weight loss, sluggishness, or hearing loss. Unborn children exposed may have learning difficulties. CBS 5's Brett Hall is with the Live Eye at Ithaca School District headquarters tonight. Well, good evening, Michael. Nearly 50 people showed up to Enfield Elementary this evening for what the school district called a community forum on the water supply there. Their voices were certainly heard. The, the frustration was fresh inside the Enfield Elementary cafeteria Monday night as parents learned that in August, above action level readings of lead in drinking water were detected inside the school. As soon as they knew that there was lead in this water, they should have immediately notified us. And at the very least, I feel like they should have provided bottled water until they got clean samples. District leaders broke down the timeline. They say triannual testing was done here in August because the building uses well water. It was then a sample was taken that exceeded the state set action limit for lead by 625 ppbs. According to the school district, the Tompkins County Health Department was immediately notified. Ten tests were taken again in January 2016. This time, water samples showed much lower lead presence in the system, and the August test was declared an anomaly. However, state law required that any presence be communicated publicly within 60 days. We definitely should have notified the parents. We had 60 days, and we did not do that. In that vein, I believe we should have notified them right away. For many parents, the apology comes too late. Many feel they should get their kids tested for lead now. The school's response? We are not at a risk. The county health department says we were, were not and are not at a risk. The district says it plans to be transparent about the process moving forward and tested every water source in that building Saturday morning. The results from those latest samplings are due back to district headquarters in about two weeks, and they say they will make them public at that point. There's another school with similar lead problems, Caroline Elementary. There's a meeting for parents at that building, 7 to 6 p.m. Wednesday evening. Reporting live at Ithaca City School District headquarters, I'm Brett Hall. Looking ahead.